Hello. So today we are looking at another experiment from the heat transfer set of experiments, which is titled heat transfer study of building colors, sorry, building materials. We have the whole set of equipments that will require to perform the experiments. We have the six boxes that are provided in the kit and we have the six different building materials that are again part of the kit. We have the ceramic tile, we have the louvered panel, we have the ACP uh, or the aluminium composite panel, we have the concrete panel, we have the loo, uh, cavity glass and we have the plain glass. Additionally, we will require a couple of other experiment, uh, the other equipments to perform the experiment. We have the, uh, we have the set of six different uh, thermometers, lab thermometers and we have the temperature gun. The objective of this experiment is for students to understand the impact or heat transfer uh, impact on different building materials, heat gain of different building materials and this will help them envision uh, these, de envision including these materials in their design. We will look at the assembly of the experiment. We will first take each panel and put it on top of the box and we will lock it just by turning this small uh, latch here. Then we will do it for all the materials, all the six materials. We will take this thermometer here and we will put it into the hole provided here in the box. We will do it for all the boxes. This is the assembly of the experiment. To start the procedure, first I will take a book and for which I will use to note down all the readings for this experiment. Initially, I will take one thermometer and I will note down the ambient temperature reading that I have while I am performing this experiment. Again, as we know, we are required uh, to perform this experiment of uh, or this setup uh, when we have exposure to direct sunlight and uh, exposure to terraces access to different uh, open spaces or terrace etc. Uh, so currently the ambient temperature that I, uh, I have here is 40 degrees Celsius. So I will note that down and I will put this thermometer back. Then I'll, I need to use a timer, I'll take my mobile phone and I'll start the timer here. I will note down the readings for uh, rooftops or, or surface temperatures using this temperature gun here. So for cavity glass, I have a reading of uh, 37 degrees and for plain glass, I have a reading of 40 degrees, which I will again note down. Then for concrete panel, 
I have a reading of 42 degree Celsius and for ACP panel I have a reading of 41 degree Celsius which I will again note down. For ceramic tile I have a reading of 39 degrees and for lowered panel I have a reading of 43 degrees which I will again note down. Now I will repeat this procedure uh, which is to note down the surface temperature of each panel after a minute of uh, after an interval of one minute and I will keep doing it uh, for a period of 10 minutes to be able to see the variation in the temperature of uh, to, to see the variation in different surface temperatures. So 10 minutes have lapsed and we have all the uh, 10 temperatures required. Lastly, I will remove the thermometer from inside this box and I will note down the, the readings for this thermometer. So, for cavity glass, I have a reading of 50 degree Celsius. For plain glass, I have a reading of 52 degree Celsius for aluminium composite I have a reading of 46 degree Celsius for concrete panel I have a reading of 47 degree Celsius for ceramic tile I have a reading of 46 degree Celsius and lastly for the lowered panel I have a reading of 53 degree Celsius. These surface temperatures and internal temperatures will help me in envisioning which of these materials uh, have good heat resistant properties and that can be in incorporated uh, into the design of the structure. Thank you.